Everyone loves a good mystery, and Vermeer's painting, Girl with a Pearl Earring, is one of art's great mysteries. It's a portrait of a beautiful young girl wearing a robe with a turban on her head, and she's turning toward the viewer. A simple, innocent portrait, at first blush. That is until you look closer at certain peculiarities. First off, her gaze seems to have a certain intimate longing. Look into those eyes, they're unnerving. She wears little or no makeup, except for the rouge on her lips, perhaps inappropriate for someone so young. Her skin is very pale, and her eyebrows are only hinted at. Then there's this exotic turban, a headdress more appropriate for a woman's boudoir than to be worn out in public. And this robe, it's much too large for this girl, she's practically swimming in it. Of course, there's the famous pearl earring, which may or may not be a pearl at all. First, it's too large, and second, it has these specular highlights. A pearl would have softer highlights. Rather, it looks like it's made from hammered metal. This type of painting is called a trony, a term associated with Dutch painters of Northern Europe. It means a painting of a head that's not a formal portrait. For instance, this fellow blowing smoke, or this buxom woman who looks like she could be propositioning someone. These people aren't posing, they've been caught in the middle of an act, frozen in a moment of time. Girl with a Pearl Earring is also a trony, a very subtle one. I would say that she's being surprised, perhaps by the painter, and she has been caught in the act of turning her head abruptly. How do I know this? Let me explain. Here we have a formal portrait of the Duke of Wellington by Goya. Note his body is turned slightly toward the viewer so we can see the front of his uniform and his medals. His head is turned and very erect. However, in Vermeer's painting, the girl's body is directed away from the viewer. We can't see the front of her robe and her head is over-rotated looking over her shoulder. See the difference? Because of the enigmatic nature of the painting, it's referred to as the Mona Lisa of the North and has even inspired a novel and a movie. I'm Larry Withers with your two-minute masterpiece. If you enjoyed this episode of Two Minute Masterpiece, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. This painting is available to purchase as a handmade oil painting reproduction from FirstArtGallery.com with tens of thousands of satisfied customers in more than 120 countries. First Art Gallery is the world's largest supplier of made-to-order oil paintings. Their talented artists have created hundreds of thousands of paintings for art lovers around the world, as well as clients that include the royal family, major hotel chains, luxury cruise liners, museums, interior design firms, the largest real estate developers, Hollywood production companies, and more.